I'm going to show you how to make a for loop. Uh, this is how I do it. There are two other ways of doing it, but they don't give you as much control over the loop. Uh, we're going to create a pair. Of, sorry, a we're going to create ten cubes in a, in a straight line. And I'll also show you how to nest them as well, so you can make a grid of something. The for statement is fairly straightforward. Uh, you've got your two brackets where your condition goes, and inside your other brackets is where your uh, the code to be executed goes. So it goes in there. Um, there's a variable which you've got to declare in here, uh, and inside the square brackets you have your parameters for the loop. Uh, separate. There's three of them separated by two semicolons. Now your first parameter is a starting point, so a number that you start at. You don't have to necessarily use zero, you can use negative nine, whatever. You can use a negative value. Uh, you can also use floating point numbers as well. For this example I'm going to use zero. Uh, the next parameter is a, a increment parameter. So this, will ha this is how much it will count by. And then the next increment is where it's going to finish. So we want 10 cubes, so because it's starting at 0, we want to finish at 9. So it'll give us 10 cubes. Uh, now we're going to do a translate, because we need to move these cubes. Uh, we want space in between them, so we'll do i times 10. The cubes are going to be slightly smaller than uh, 10. We'll go with a 5mm cube. And there's our cubes. Very, very simple. Now, you can, if you wanted to, you can nest these. I don't know how many you can do, but you can nest them like this. And uh, yeah, there we go. We've got two nested if statements, which have now generated a grid. You can also put a module in here. Uh, you can put union and different statements in there as well. Uh, something to bear in mind though is uh, as you make this more complicated, because it's inside this inside a for loop and it's being generated a number of times, it will become a bit more processor intensive. So it's just something to keep an eye out for.